What's up guys, this is Big Tony and you're watching Disney Channel. Just kidding. Anyway, today we're building a Swiss chalet style mountain house with a fully decorated interior. Before we start building, here are the materials that you'll need. And here's the layout we'll be using. Alright, so to begin, let's break out all of this grass inside of our layout. In this three block wide opening at the back of the house, let's place six stone bricks. And then we'll place a three by four of polished andesite at the bottom left of our layout. And the rest of our floor will fill with spruce planks. On top of all of the black and white blocks of our layout, we'll place one layer of polished diorite. Let's place a couple of spruce doors in this two block wide gap. And then we'll place eight blocks of polished andesite along this back wall. Right next to that wall, we'll break out an eight by three area. and fill that in with a mixture of mossy and normal cobblestone. Going back around to the front side, we're going to start building up our walls now. I'm using white concrete powder, but of course you can use another similar block. So we'll start with two blocks on the right side, one block to the left of the door and then a glass pane, then two more blocks and a glass pane, and two more blocks. On our left wall, we'll just go all the way across. Then on the back side, we'll go all the way across again, skipping this gap, and we'll have one window right here. No windows on this wall. And then we'll just fill in our interior walls. Our windows will be two blocks tall, so this next level will be exactly the same, except we're gonna go over the top of the door. Our next layer will be a little bit different, so we're going to skip the side wall because we'll have a beam instead, go across the front side, and skip this side wall as well. We'll build up the back side one more block, but again skip those two sides, and leave those inside walls how they are. So let's go ahead and build up our back wall now. Place two layers of stone bricks on top of all of that polished andesite. And then if you want to, mix in a little bit of cracked stone brick and replace some of those full blocks with stairs. One block over from the left side, we'll place three stone bricks. This will be our chimney. You may notice that it's not aligned with the chimney on the inside, but don't worry, this isn't a mistake. So right now we have three stone brick blocks on top of the andesite and we'll build it up an additional seven. And again, we'll mix in some cracked stone brick and some stone brick stairs. Eventually our chimney will be a 3x3, three three, but we'll leave it like this for now until we get our upper walls in place. On the inside, place four stone brick blocks on each side, with one block at the top to connect them. Next, place a campfire in this space, and two stone brick walls on each side with an iron bar in between. Next, place a stone brick stair facing inwards on each wall, and then one more stone brick stair in the center. On the back wall, we're going to build a little workshop area. So start with one stone brick wall on each side, and two fence posts on top of that wall, and a spruce fence gate sticking out. Then we'll make a roof using 16 extinguished campfires. Down below, we'll place two smithing tables with a lantern on the left one, two trap doors right here with a double chest, an anvil right here. 
Then we'll place a strip spruce log with a spruce button and two extinguished campfires. Next to that log, we'll place a stone cutter and we'll make a chair using a spruce stair and two spruce signs. While we have these trap doors, let's go ahead and place some shutters on our windows. So we'll place two spruce trap doors to the left of each window. And I'm also gonna place two signs on top of our door. Next, I'll take some strip spruce logs and place it all the way across the side wall and extend it out in each direction by one. On the front side, skip two blocks and place one more here. Then skip three blocks and place one here. Then we'll place another log going all the way across the side wall. Skip two blocks in this direction and place another, and two blocks and place one there. On the inside, we'll just have one log going all the way across this inside wall. Then I'm going to place two polished diorite slabs right below that log. In between all of those logs on the front side, I'm going to place spruce top slabs. And on the back side, we'll place two slabs and then two full blocks. On this log, I'm going to place a lantern. And then let's go inside and make a staircase. So we'll start right here, two blocks from the wall, we'll place a stair. And just build those stairs up to the top. And we'll place upside down stairs underneath. Then we'll fill in our second floor using top slabs. Just make sure to leave a gap where your stairs are so you can get up. In the main room, we're going to have strip spruce logs going across above the chimney and across above the doorway. Then we'll fill in two layers with top slabs. And the rest will be open to above. So let's start working on our upper walls now. We'll start with just some spruce planks. And we'll build seven blocks across on the side wall and three blocks up. On the front wall, we'll leave a space for a one tall, two wide window. And let's put some glass in there. And two blocks over, we'll go up another level for two more blocks. In the center, we'll have a three wide, two tall window. In the center, three blocks will be another level up. And on the right side, again, we'll just leave a one tall, two wide window. On the back side, the shape of the wall will be the same, but the windows will be a little bit different. So we'll start with the same one tall, two wide window. And then in the center, we'll have a two by two window instead of a three by two. We'll continue our wall on the other side of the chimney. On the side wall, we'll have two two block tall and one wide windows. There'll be one block of space in between them and they'll be in the center of the wall. Now for the chimney, we're gonna build up a second layer. At the top, just break one block and place a campfire so we have some smoke. Now for our wooden wall, build up three spruce planks on the right side. Then go across with two upside down stairs and two more spruce planks on top. So this will leave sort of a window or a shelf. Now we're going to add some archways on our front side. So build up three strip spruce logs. And then two blocks over we'll build up four. Three blocks over we'll build up four more. And on the right side we'll build up three. Now we're going to place two upside down stairs above this window to make an arch. Two more upside down stairs here. And two more on the right side. Let's place one horizontal strip spruce log here, and three horizontals going across the top, and one more here. On the back side, we'll do a similar pattern, but again, it's a little bit different. So start with three on the right side, 
and then four here, two blocks over. And then two blocks over, we'll build up five. On the other side of the chimney, we'll build up three. Place two upside down stairs above each of these two windows. Bruh. Then we'll place two horizontal logs here and one here. Now on top of these walls, we're just going to build up our chimney, so we'll have a 3x3. Three three. And again, I'm going to mix in some cracked stone brick and some stone brick stairs. Next we're going to add some flower beds under the windows on our front and back side. So just place in some grass or dirt. Then place azure bluets or you can also use grass or another flower. And then cover up that dirt with trapdoors. And we'll repeat this with these two windows on the back side. And then we're ready to start working on our roof. So we're going to start with some dark oak stairs, place an upside down stair one block in from the spruce plank wall, then skip three blocks and place another. Place a regular stair on top of that upside down stair and then another upside down stair. Then extending out from those upside down stairs, we'll place a line of dark oak top slabs and it'll extend out one block past the wall in each direction. Place another line of normal slabs on top of those top slabs and then we'll go with a line of full blocks. And the rest of the roof is basically just repeating this. So we're going up with a slope of slabs until we get to the center point, and then we'll go back down. Once we get to that center point, we'll go to the other side and repeat this. We'll start with our dark oak stair supports in the same way we did on the other side. Then we'll build our slabs. And then full blocks and then we'll just continue the pattern. Now that the roof is finished, we'll add some final decorations for the exterior. Let's start with some berry bushes. I'll we'll place five or six of them on the left side of the front wall. I'm also going to place some vines on the front wall. Try to make them look random and natural. And then on this side wall, I'm going to add some oak leaves as well as the vines. and maybe a berry bush or two. On the other side, we'll do the same thing using oak leaves and vines, except I'm also gonna add a bench in the center of the wall. So for our bench, I'll place three spruce slabs and a sign on each side. Then I'll just place a couple more leaves and some vines. Next I'll show you a path example. So for my path I'm just going to use stone to map out the shape. And then once you have a shape you're happy with you can add some stone buttons for texture.
So that's all for the outside, now let's head inside. So first of all, I'm going to add some leaves to the shelf that we made. Then I'm going to place a lantern hanging from this log. And I'll make some extra firewood next to the fireplace using an extinguished campfire. Next I'll make a 3x4 carpet using light grey carpets, but you can use any color that you'd like. Next to the carpet on this wall I'll make a couch using dark oak stairs. And in the corner I'll place a crafting table with a flower pot on top. Next to the door I'll place a tripwire hook coat hanger. Then a lectern with a book in it and some bookshelves. On the wall above the couch I'm going to place three one block paintings. In the other room on the wall with this window, I'm going to place two stairs for chairs, then a fence post with a pressure plate and a lantern above it. For the kitchen, let's start with two barrels and a flower pot. Then under the window, I'll place a smoker with a pressure plate, a blast furnace in the corner, and then two normal furnaces. Let's place a lantern on top of one and a cake on the other. In this space right here, I'm going to place a cauldron with some water and a lever and then a painting above it. And let's also place a two block wide painting next to the staircase. And that'll be it for this room, now let's go upstairs. I'm gonna start by placing a chest and then I'll make a railing for the staircase using oak trap doors. And I'm also gonna add a railing on this end. We'll just add some placeholder blocks so we can get the oak trap doors on the outside of the block. I'm going to place two beds. I'm using red beds, but you can use any color. Right below that two block wide window, and then I'll place a barrel next to it with a flower pot. Above that flower pot, I'll place a chain with a lantern on it. And then above our staircase, I'm going to make a shelf using dark oak trap doors. I'll place a grindstone and a pot with a sapling in it. Below our three block wide window, I'm going to make a desk out of oak stairs and slabs. Put a flower pot on one end and a lantern on the other. Then I'll make a chair using an oak stair and some signs. Our final decoration will be a moose head above this three block wide window. So to make that I'll place a dark oak stair with a dark oak button below. And then two oak fence gates for the antlers. Alright so that's it, let's take a little look around. And one thing I nearly missed is that you'll need a lantern above your lectern in the corner in the first room. Otherwise it'll be too dark and mobs can spawn. And now for a special message from my cousins. Bye! Subscribe to Tony and Big Tony MCs.